Hi there, welcome. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I've created a folder on the desktop you can see here that I've put all my images in. Um, the images basically I just dragged from my memory card. You can see here on the desktop my memory card. So I've just dragged all those photos into this folder and you can see that this folder there's 110 photos total um, they're unorganized or sorted in any way just a bunch of photos so I'd like to kind of organize them and get them all nice and neat um, I find that having them organized definitely helps me process them so I'm going to open Adobe Bridge here and here you can see all the same photos um, just in Adobe Bridge go to the desktop go to my folder and this folder here so there's the images. Uh, you can see the preview on the right side um, as you click through each photo and you can see this is my white card photo there. Um, there's also metadata on the right side there um, which is your f-stop, your balance, that type of thing. So I'm going to get started by creating a folder and we're just going to call this miscellaneous. And What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these two white card or gray card photos that I took. I'm just going to get them out of the way by sticking them in the folder down at the bottom there labeled miscellaneous. So I'll just drag these down and drop them in. So here's the images and here's the uh, metadata I was referring to. You can see the exposure, the white balance, ISO settings, that type of thing. Um, for our particular case, what we're most interested in is the exposure value. And you can see that number right here, this negative three. And watch as I click through the photos, you can see that number changing. And that's basically the different EV values in this bracketed set. I'll go to the next row. And you can see that this is another set of bracketed images just by looking at that exposure value. And that helps to organize your photos, which is why I like to use Bridge here. So I'm going to go ahead and create three more folders. And one, two, three. There we go. And I'll go ahead and, uh, in my case, I'm going to drag four sets of bracketed images. Now, this is because I'm doing a, um, a panoramic type image. So the whole image is created by using four different uh, photos or four different bracketed sets. So I'm going to go ahead and drag those four bracketed sets into my first folder. Now, in your case, if you're not doing panoramic, you're just going to grab one bracketed shot. Um, so I'll do the next one here. And I got one more to go. So we'll drag those in there. So we'll go ahead and uh, open up our folder back on the desktop again. And you can see now we have four uh, folders now instead of just a bunch of organized, unorganized images. I'm going to go ahead and label these one, two, and three. I like to keep it as simple as possible and for me that just works. You can of course label it whatever you'd like. So I'll go ahead and open up uh, the first photo folder here, and you can see now we only have 36 images, which is perfect, what we expected and wanted. Um, two, we got 36 images down there, and 36 there. So here's our miscellaneous, which has our white card slash gray card images, and we're all set. We'll see you in the next video.